Hey everyone, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and today I'm going to show you how you can remove flyaway hairs really easily. Now I know there's a lot of techniques out there, but this is one that I really like to use because I find that it looks really natural. And really the first thing before you remove any of the flyaway hairs is to really take a step back and look at your picture and think, okay, do I even really need to remove them? Because flyaways are natural. So the more you take away, the more, or I guess the less realistic it will look. But let me show you my favorite way to take away flyaways. Okay, so this is the photo I'm gonna work with here. And you can see, especially up here, at the top, she's got a lot of little hairs that are just kind of out of place. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the left-hand side and I'm going to select the Quick Selection tool. And when I click on that, you're gonna get two buttons that pop up at the top. You're gonna to choose Select Subject. Now most of the time, if your photo isn't super busy in the background, Photoshop will do a real nice job finding your subject. You'll see here, there isn't a lot going on in the background, so it found my subject really easily. If you do have a lot going on, this technique might not work that great. But from here, what we're going to do is I'm going to right click right inside this selection that Photoshop made. So I'm right clicking and I'm gonna choose feather, okay? Now from here, my magic number always seems to be 15 pixels when I pick the feather radius. You might want to play around with that, but 15 has been really great for me. Um, and what the feather does is makes, it's going to make the flyaways more gradual instead of just like a straight line when we remove them. And you'll, you'll kind of see, you'll get a better idea in just a minute, but I'm going to click OK here. And then I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna click back inside there again, so I'm right clicking, and I'm going to choose Select Inverse, okay? Now from here, we've got it all set up to take away these flyaways in a natural looking way. I'm gonna grab my clone tool, and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger here, and I'm gonna select some of the area near the flyaways, and I'm gonna do that just by placing that clone stamp tool. You can see the circle there and I'm gonna hit the Alt key and then I'm gonna click. And that's gonna sample that area right there. Now from there, I'm just gonna get real close to the selection and you can see even if my clone stamp goes over her, it's not going to go onto her, onto her hair because we've made that selection. So we can get real close and it's not going to look um, funny or it's not going to make us have to remove that later on. So I'm just going through and I'm selecting areas near the flyaways. Now this part of the hair I think I'm going to keep. I like the way that this area right down here by her shoulder looks natural. So I'm going to leave that alone. But some of these over here I think I'm going to remove. So again I'm going to click and I'm just cleaning up this area. Okay, now from there, all you have to do is you have to hit Control D. So let me hit Control D, and that D selects, or that's going to take off those dotted lines or little marching ants around your subject. So hit Control D, and you can see it very naturally took away all of those little flyaways that we had around her and it did it in a very smooth way so it wasn't a super sharp edge right at the selection line that we picked. So there you go guys, super easy way to remove flyaway hairs, but remember if you've got a busy background, it might not work as well. If you do give this a try, I would love to see it. I always love to see what you guys are up to and what you're creating. So if you're part of the Cozy Clicks Facebook group, post it over there so I can see. And if you're not, just tag me over on Instagram. I'm always over there on Instagram. I'd love if you would follow me. And if you tag me, I do look through those pictures to see what you guys are creating. Hopefully this helps you guys. If you want to read the written tutorial or save this to read or watch for later, the link is gonna be in the description below. Thanks again for watching guys. I'll see you next time.